Quite a bit of fun. Should be good. Indeed. So. Oh. 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 Matchup. The matchup. This is going to be quite crazy. We are spawning in the bottom right hand corner, or bottom side, I should say more accurately. It is the pink Zerg for Echo Esports. It is Schnitzel. Oh, the Oval's going to scout each other straight away as well. <laughs> yep. And over the left, the red random player, also spawning a Zerg, it's Sparrow. Oh, man. <laughs> And here's the CBZ. At the Overlords, you get a high fly up as they pass. Indeed. So I... this is uh, one of the most stable openings you can actually have in a random versus random. Is a CBZ where your Overlords see each other immediately? Because that means you get to scout your opponent and see exactly what's going on. So I expect we're just going to see Mirror Hatch first. This is... I'm just looking at the mini-map and just look how big the map um, looks. Yeah. Like how, well, how small, I should say. It's tidy. Yeah, This and this used to be one of the biggest maps in the pool. This was the big macro map at the start of StarCraft 2. Oh man, it's fucking kicking me right in the nostalgia right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm just, I'm just having a look around and it is so tiny, like, oh man, I, I just actually want to like, um, play mech on this map actually. Oh yeah. And yeah, once upon a time close spawns were enabled, that was always fun. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so Schnitz was actually seeing a drone out. What's he gonna do with this drone? There's a pull on the way for Sparrow. He's no, taking, he's taking Sparrow's goal. Yep, you 100%, are right. A hundred percent. Oh, it's just it's it's smart, right? Because you get more money, and you also deny Sparrow from mining that base later on. So if this goes to split map, <laughs> suddenly Schnitz has an advantage. Indeed, I've actually done this. Um. The same kind of strategy in my TVZ games, where, not, not TVZ, TVP games. I take hidden expansions on the proto side of the map and try and mine them out. Yeah, and really weirdly, we saw Sparrow go for the uh, pool first. Even though he has full information that he's not getting cheesed, he just goes for one base anyway, so... It'll be interesting to see what he throws out. I think it'll work out well for him if he ever scouts this gold base. Uh, because... The way to shut this down is obviously to just kill it or deny the mining before it even starts. Yeah, and if he shuts it down, he'll be hit. He'll cancel the early hatchery of Schnitzel, because Schnitzel did go hatch first, which means Schnitzel will be forced into the kind of one base pool. He doesn't have gas, and this pulls a lot later, and he's pulling lings. Oh, no. Oh. Schnitzel sending the full, well, actually, it's only 10 drones. Oh, but look at this. Sparrow's looking to go take the gold as well. <laughs> Things just got a little bit dicey. Oh, that's fantastic. And he scouts it while trying to make a hatchery there. <laughs> just uh, offering the uh, olive branch, saying it's all right, we don't have to fight. You can take mine. <laughs> but Schnitzel starts a queen at the gold, and oh, two, spines. two spine crawlers. He and wants to hold actually, it. I think he's going to hold it. As Indeed. Long as he micros his drone to get these first four links that come across. He's going to hold it, and suddenly this game is going to be pretty interesting. Indeed, Bailing this is on the way for Sparrow. He's transitioning, and remember. Just because Schnitzel has this base, doesn't mean Sparrow has to kill it. He can just go, well, okay, you got drones, you got spine cores, and you got a queen here. I mean, Instead of beating my head against the wall, uh, yeah, just run to your main. I mean, it's yeah. pretty close, and there's no, there's actually no queen being built at the main as well. The main's completely open, and we might see Schnitzel have to transfer everything over to the gold and re-establish it as his main base, but things could get interesting. And he's starting to second queen at the gold. I'd really love to see him do a spine core push, queen spine push. From this position, he can do it. He really yeah. can. It's so, so close that a couple of creep streamers down, and all of a sudden, he'll be knocking down on the front door sparrow. Yeah. But this uh, Bailey Nest is... Well, it was cancelled, actually, from Sparrow. Interesting. Yeah. And he's still mining a lot of gas, so... Oh, and the spines are going straight away. This was just gold for it. He's oh. making... He's just making Zerglings and Queens and walking the spines across. And I think it's actually going to work. This is hilarious. Yeah, he gets us around on the queen on the ramp, and there is a second queen to try and back it up. And oh, it looks like it will go. The one queen does go down for Sparrow. He's still got another one. And Spines need to get down. I think Sparrow can block them if he tries, but he's not. And they're going to get tapped if he get onto Sparrow's natural creep. And suddenly Sparrow wishes he didn't expand. He should have taken Schnitzel's gold instead. Schnitzel up on that offer. Oh, this is brilliant. I think Schnitzel might actually be a genius. <laughs> oh, the RVR. This, the spawn distance for the lanes from the. Uh, Gold base as well. Quick reinforcement. Very quick indeed. Yeah. I think Sparrow had an opportunity to make something in this game when he, he could have just counted uh, Snizzle's main with the speedlings, but he didn't do it, and now, well, now he's cornered by the Queen's slowling spine crawler. Yeah. It's just mainly because this will come down to Sparrow just not being an expert in ZVZ and just not knowing the 
correct response in these situations. To the standard, uh, take your opponent's gold and then spine crawl and rush and build. And that's the gear fun from Sparrow and the G. Yep. Too good. Schnitzel number one. 